welcome back. Have you all ever heard of the Consumer Electronics Show? It happens in Vegas every year and it's full of the future. There are gadgets galore. Some will want, others will need, and some we won't ever find a spot for in our home. To figure out the gadgets worth waiting for, I checked in with the gadget guy, Steve Greenberg. Well, first of all, Steve, it's great to see you. You are just back from the Consumer Electronics Show, the show where all the cool new things came out. How was the show overall? Well, I would say it was up to about 75% of what it was pre-pandemic, which is pretty darn good. I think it's 2.1 million square feet. So you're talking about a huge space. I was there for a full week and you can still only see maybe 30% of the show if you're lucky. It's just so much stuff, but it is absolutely amazing. I was like a kid in a candy store. Well, I'm sure you were. And you actually picked out a couple of cool things that you wanted to show us. Like, what is number one that's coming out that we're going to have to have? Well, I think... The theme, one of the big themes is everything smart. I mean, they had everything from a smart avocado tester to a smart baby car seat. So, I mean, that blew my mind. It's the first and only smart car seat. It has 14 sensors in it. It's from a company called Baby Arc. And it will actually let you know if the child is in the seat properly, if the seat is in the car properly, and if you should leave the car and you leave the baby behind, you get an alert right on your phone. That is actually something that will save babies' lives. I love that. That's incredible. All right, the next thing I hear you're talking about is something that's actually really fun. Well, AR glasses are going to be a big thing where you wear the glasses, you see the real world, and then you see this augmented reality. That's the AR gets superimposed in it. But TDK had a new twist on it because they're actually projecting the image. It's called direct retinal projection. And what that does is it means that you can see the image that's being projected and the real world both in focus at the same time. Whereas before it would be the image was kind of uh, sharp and the back and the real world was blurry. Now they're both sharp at the same time. And that's going to be great for getting directions or helping you see what's going on as opposed to what it was before. So that's a major step forward in the world of AR glasses. In fact, the next company I'm talking about is another set of initials. Okay, who are ADT. they? <laughs> so going from TDK to ADT. And, and what was cool about that is that they, it's all about being non-brand specific. So for example, they came out with this face that which is you know able to control their, uh, manage their cameras and the doorbells and all, all the thermostat and whatnot. But what's cool about it is that this same base will also manage Google compatible accessories. Oh. So that's a whole new thing where what used to be like, you had to get one thing for each company. Now you don't have to be so brand specific. This is really a kind of a change in the world as far as trends go at CES. I love anything that makes my life easier. Also something that can also save a life like uh, these solar generators you're looking at. Jackery is all about solar generators. I think they're the number one solar generator company in the world. They're really about outdoor living. They're less about disasters, though I'm sure it will help you in those situations too. But they're all about living off the grid, whether it be for five to 10 days or if you use the solar panel indefinitely. They have little ones that are this big and big ones that are this big and everything in between. I go off the grid about for five days while camping every uh, July. So I think I might need this to survive my camping trip. <laughs> okay. What I'm is... never off the grid. I'm never off the grid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is this PCR test that you found? Okay. This is from a company called Code DX. And this is a prototype right here. And this little gadget, the way it works, you either put a, a nasal swab or spit into this little cup here. It goes inside this gadget like this, close it, and it wirelessly talks to your phone. And in about 30 minutes, it lets you know if you are positive or negative. And not just for COVID, but also for the flu, for Ooh. all sorts of respiratory infections. And this is the kind of thing that they're, they're calling a home PCR test, which is the gold standard. I see it showing up in schools or at work. So if you show up at work and you're coughing or sniffling, we'll give you a test. If you fail, you go home. I don't know if I like that kind of invasion of privacy, but I definitely want one for my home to test my kids 100%. <laughs> no, the next thing that's really cool are these Squad Solar City cars. Now, these cars look like, uh, like a golf cart, but don't let the size fool you. They're a real car designed for city driving or for maybe a gated community, not so much for highways. No gasoline, no plugging in to charge it. The roof is a solar panel, and it just takes in that light and it will take you around town. And I think it's great. The price point I've actually thought was pretty interesting. They're saying between six and $7,000, which seemed kind of reasonable to me. And if you park the way I park, this is the way to go. Did you say six to $7,000? 
Yeah, which I think seems pretty reasonable for a car. Yeah, I'd say. And yeah, it's solar. I, think too. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm, you know, not thinking because it is a tiny little car. But I think if it can get you back and around town and do what you have to do for that price point, I'm all in. Perfect for college kids. All right. Finally, the coup de gras of CES. What with happened? Steve to say, what happened? My highlight was I got to meet, interview, and then dance with Paula Abdul. Big fan of hers, and she was could not have been nicer. She was at CES because she's come out with these Idle Eyes audio sunglasses. So you can wear these sunglasses, listen to your tunes, or take a phone call while you wear them. It has five hours of battery life in it. They're unisex for you know men and women, very fashion forward. And she makes the point that you can dance with them and they don't fall off. And then after that, she gave me a little dance lesson, which uh, I totally enjoyed. And uh, Paula Abdul, not worthy. She's wonderful. <laughs> of course she is. All right. Well, keep an eye out for those very cool gadgets. Steve says most of the products are not even in stores yet. But of course, you can always go match wits with Steve on his gadget game show. What the heck is that on YouTube? It's a, it's a lot of fun. You should go check it out. Anyway, since